Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, I've been asking all week, and I'm going to ask again. Praise God at this moment. Please do not put any requests in the chat. All I want in the chat is worship as the speaker is preaching worship with the preacher this morning and receive the word from the Lord that is going to be brought to you this morning. Just worship in the chat. Just worship with her. We'll have time to come back to taking your requests. You'll have time for that, but just worship in the chat. So I need about five people to start it off. Just go ahead and worship in the chat. Just go ahead and worship in the chat this morning. Praise God. Um, the person that is coming to us this morning is no stranger to this platform, a partner from a woman of God. Praise God. One of my 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 spiritual mom. Praise God. I mean, this woman is uh, she's. I could talk about her from now to a very long time, but, and she's so humble with, you know, the call of God and the mantle that God has placed upon her life. Praise God, a kingdom builder, a person who loves people. Praise God and want to see the purpose of God manifest in their lives. A woman who has dedicated her life to the call of God and to bring deliverance to the people of God. Praise God, I introduce to this platform. Hallelujah. One more time, Pastor, Prophetess Jasset McKenzie and the Holy Ghost. Come on in the room, Mom. Come on in the room. Praise Hallelujah. the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Prophetess the Lord, my God. Thank you, Prophetess Moulton. Thank you, saints. Thank you, each and every one who made it possible. Amen. That the kingdom of God be extended. Hallelujah. Who serve God both nights. And day, what an amazing uh, uh, feeling and experience it is to be in the midst, amen, of a praying, hallelujah, family, a family who stays on their knees, a family who is connected with God, a family that is filled with the power, amen, of the Holy Ghost, the family that trusts in God, that has proof and evidence. Praise God that this is the solution for the times. Praise God. I love you. I love you. You are my family. And I am very grateful that we can join together in the spirit of unity over these years. Amen. No animosity, no drama, and no trauma. We just love God and we work together hand Amen. in hand in the spirit of God. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Praise God. We are grateful that the original Pentecostal, amen, bonding and unity, amen, is still here. They had all things come and they were together. Praise God. And we are grateful. Joy fill the city. And I heard Prophetess Moulton, amen, uh, just hammering. Peace in the midst of my storm, Hako Shanda. And I tell you right there and then, I am just ready to just continue to speak. Peace in the midst of my storm. My God, Pastor Moulton, that word, amen, as a matter of fact, strings very closely, amen, at the heart of the thought that God has dropped in my spirit for this morning. Let me just get on and get out in the book of Acts. We're going back there. Amen. And we're just going to read one or two scriptures. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I am going to continue. Amen. Down in that same path. Peace in the midst of my storm. You see, I am not here to say anything different from what you have been saying. I am here to reinforce, to confirm. Amen. That what is coming out of your mouth is what God is saying. Let me extend greetings to Pastor Barnett. Amen. Who is with us this morning. Praise God. Amen. If you hear any echoing, it is his phone. We give God praise and we give God thanks. Amen. For the spirit of unity. My God, you want I tie. Prophetess Althea stuttered. Amen. Ever since then, we realize that the enemy is trying to uh, kill 
yes, trying yes. to kill, cut off the heads of the prophets. Marco Shatada Basaya. That the enemy, God bless you, everyone. God bless you, Lady Road. God bless you all. That the enemy is trying to kill the prophet. That Herodias wants the head of the prophets. But in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we cannot be extinct until our time is expired by God. Amen. He has given us a mandate. He has given us an assignment. He has given us this time and season to reinforce his kingdom power in earth. Praise God, though we might be in skirt. But remember, praise Jesus. Amen. That they all flow from the beard to the skirt. Come on now, somebody give God praise. Yes, 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 yes. And one time we, we, we could preach oil in skirt. And that the anointing has no boundary. And the anointing, which is the power of God, the spirit of God, which is God's, amen, uh, 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 smearing, amen, yes. of his uh, creo, amen, and of that anointing upon his children. And it's neither, neither male nor female. And we are bold for God. And we are blessed and we are highly favored. Praise God to be a carrier of spiritual children. Amen. Who depend, hallelujah, on what God has deposited in us to stay alive. And we are grateful, amen, that our spiritual reinforcement in the territory to which God has assigned us, amen, is aligned, hallelujah, to God according to the word of God. I don't know why I say that, but let me just say that, that you're going to stay alive. Amen. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Yes. That the angels of God is already encamping, that we have a secret weapon. And that is the anointing. Praise God. And the anointing is breaking the yoke this morning. And the anointing is destroying the yoke this morning. Amen. There is no intimidation. There is no jealousy. There is no competition. There is nothing of that nature. It is just the Holy Ghost this morning. And amen. I'm so grateful, hallelujah, that our God, amen, is in the midst of us. And we shall live and declare his work. Hallelujah, I feel God. I cover you, prophetess, in the name of Jesus. Y'all got to bear with me, praise God. But when you carry someone, amen, in your spiritual womb, praise God. When it's time, amen, to re Glory to God, juvenate that connection that God has placed there. Amen. And I rejuvenate. Amen. We got to understand, amen, the kingdom uh, uh, principle. And so I want to speak into your spirit this morning. Amen. That you shall be renewed and revived. I'm talking to you, Lady Althea, Prophetess Althea Stoddard. Amen. Your mother, praise God, the one who carries you by birth. And he's carrying you spiritual. Amen. God has given her a special, amen, what should I call it, authority to be your children all over. Praise God. But I am here also helping to bear you and to strengthen you and to let you know, praise God, we are not going to allow what is in you to die. We are going to make sure that what God is planting, if, when we are gone off the scene, you will be mothering, amen, many from afar. May God strengthen you, preserve you, protect you, and keep you, that you remain faithful continuously according to how God has planted his purpose in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Stay covered, stay covered, stay covered, stay covered, stay covered. Praise God. Acts of the Apostle chapter 27. And we are going there. We're just going to read a few scripture. Then I'm going to make maybe three points. Hey, Katara Bashanda, for there is peace in the midst of the storm this morning. Amen. Let me read from this Bible. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Last night we were on. Amen. And thank you for joining as we listen to the word of God, understanding that the times we are living in is very critical. I'm going to use, amen, a descriptive word. That says nasty. We're in a very nasty time. Amen. The things that we are seeing is so nasty. 
and nasty. Someone is going to jump to your dictionary, look at it. Don't look at it because so much dirt, amen, is on the news. And so much persons are carried away with the dirt that we are listening to. Stop listening to all these lies and dirt. The enemy is trying to create a fear monger upon God's people. You be selective in what you're taking into your spirit. There's a word this morning. Amen. That's there is peace in the midst of your storm. Amen. Ah, somebody said, Where's the storm? There's a storm blowing, but there's peace this morning. Hallelujah. Acts of the Apostle, chapter 827. And uh, glory to God, verse. Amen. Where is Althea who used to read for me? I'm still going to read anyway. Hallelujah to okay, God. Okay, wait. Acts chapter 27, verse. Read from verse 29. Okay. All right. I'm going. As a matter of fact, you just go from 27 to 30. To, to 31. Okay, 27 to 31. Good. All right. And it says, but when the 14th was come as we were driven up and down in Adiria about midnight the shipmen deemed that they drew near to some country and sounded and found it 20 fathoms and when they had gone a little further they sounded again and found it 15 fathoms then fearing lest we should have fallen upon rocks they cast four anchors out of the stern and wished for the day and as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, when they had let down the boat into the sea under color as though they would have cast anchors out of the foreship, Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. Then the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boat and let her fall off. And while they continue... That is verse uh, 30. I'm at verse 33. Okay, verse 33. And while the day was coming, Paul besought, besought them mm -hmm. all to take meat, saying, yes. This day is the 14th day that he have tarried and continued yes. fasting, having yes. taken nothing. Yes. Wherefore, I pray you to take some meat, for mm -hmm. this is for your health. Good. For there shall not an hair fall from the head of any of you. That's and it. when he had thus spoken, he took bread and gave thanks to God in the presence of them all. I think I just got a word. And when he had broken it, he began to eat. My God. Then they were all of good cheer and they also took some meat. <laughs> <All right. laughs> My God. Eat the food, people. <laughs> the ship is rocking, but eat your food. You're going to be all right. Praise God. Fasting is not to kill yourself. Don't, don't worry. Uh, I'm telling you, that, that, that there's, a, there's a life support on board. There's a word. You, you see, brethren, this morning, I, I didn't want to come. We, we've been in a week, a month of um, confession, a month of fasting and prayer and confession. We've been in a time when we are crying out, becoming uh, open and raw before God. We've been in a season where we are telling God, amen, like it is. We are going on the inside and we are trying to clean up, praise God, and to, to restore, amen, go back to the original, amen, remembering from whence we have fallen, amen, and doing that original work before we became hypocritical, before we became so fake and so vain and so vague, before we became so anxious, praise God. We are going back to that original experience. Yeah. My God, we are going back to that place of, amen, sincerity. We are going back to that place of, amen, where all that matters was that the spirit and presence of God dwell with us. Yes. And that's what we've been doing this month, praise God. So somehow I am, you're going to find me jump back into that kind, amen, of, ex, of, of speaking, uh, of, of, of some of those words are going to come out this morning, though my intention is to let you know, praise God, that if you abide in this ship, my God, 
nothing shall come against you. Can I say that again? If you abide in this ship, hallelujah to God. If you stay on board right where you are seeking God, praying, it is a biblical principle. Praise God. Nothing shall come on unto you. You shall land safely. Amen. We are close to the country called heaven and the ship that we are on. Amen. Might be battered, might be tossed and torn, but I'm telling you, the anchor holds. Though my ship is battered, uh, anchor mm. is that word. Glory to God, ankura. Amen. The English anchor, praise God, was so called because of its curve. Amen. From ankos curve, and so we are looking at this then, fearing lest we should have fallen upon rocks. I'm telling you that with the anchor holds. Uh, Amen. In the midst of your storm this morning, the enemy's intention is that your ship, amen, should hit a rock. We should hit a rock bottom. Amen. That the ship should be broken. That this ship, let me talk about international prayer line, should be crushed. Let me talk about the ship of, amen, Lord God's daughter should be crushed. The ship of Mackenzie should hit a rock. The ship of Molten, the ship of Avon, the ship of you online that we should hit. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I'm telling you, not one of us shall be lost. We shall remain on board. We shall arrive at our destination. We shall get to where God is calling us. Amen. And no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Why? Because our anchor is in Jesus Christ. Come on, anybody here knows yes, yes, the anchor yes. holds in Jesus. Why do we need to hold in Jesus? Because every other thing is sinking sand. Amen. I said, cast your anchor in Jesus. And it also here. Praise God, they cast it because what? Up there is a stern, mighty God. It's also a wish, my God. Let me tell you something. We are wishing, amen, that the daylight, I see daylight coming. I'm telling you. I just want to talk to somebody. I said 2024, 20, uh, 22, amen. I calculated it. I said it's WW2 times 20. And to 11, 22. And from the year started, I told him that this year is going to be a quick double-double. I'm telling you, praise God, every now and then you go to Island Grill. They have something called a double sandwich, double-double. And if you have the children, you just say, go for the double-double. I'm telling you, you get Randa. more less. And this Ooh. year, I believe uh, that God is about to give us more for less. Uh, hallelujah. Where are the people that I'm talking to? Come on, you're more preaching. For less. Uh, amen. Of the stress and struggle and trial. Amen. Why? Because uh, the, the, the ship that we are on, amen, whether it's your church ship, uh, amen, it's your ship, it's your prior ship, uh, it's your worship, uh, it's your fellowship. Uh, it's your relationship. It's your friendship. Jesus is in the midst. Prior is in the midst. The warrior is on board. And the discerner is on board. And the prophet is on board. And the prophetess is on board. And someone who carries the anointing is on board. And there's a word on board. So your friendship Crush. So your relationship shall not crash. So the fellowship shall not crash. So the ship that we are on shall not hit any rock. I want you to place your anchor in Jesus. Why? Because he is a reliable source. He's trustworthy. Hallelujah to God. I say he's trustworthy. Yes. Whatever case we give him, he's able to deal with it. How many of you know, hallelujah, that you are sailing in a heavy water, in a oh. rock sea, that the storms are blowing, that the ship is rocking, your sail is torn, but your anchorage is safe because you're anchored in Jesus. My oh. God, my God. I'm getting too excited this morning. I said it's reliable. So show your anchor. Come on, curve. Show your curve, ball. I say curve. I say cast in your anchor. 
My God, no rock. God is going to take you around when you examine the story this morning. You understand that the shipmen, those who left out in charge, the soldiers and the centurions who feel that they had things under control. My God, the, 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 the weathers, amen, was not determined by them. It was not determined by the captain. It was determined by the prisoner, the one that the enemy trying to slaughter, the one that the enemy trying to slay. And that's what I'm telling some of you this year, that those of you <clears throat> that the enemy trying to get rid of, trying to kill you because you're loud mouth, you talk too much, you pray mm. too much, you see too much, you prophesy too much. My God, you are too much. You are the one that God is about to use to minister Jesus. to those who are trying to kill you, to those who are trying to get rid of you. This yes. year of love, we're going to love our enemies. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Go ahead, go ahead. Repentance, because this is the year we are going to love those who abuse us and those who refuse us and those who try to cut us off and try to bury us up. We come in radical. We're going to eat bread. We, we, the fasting is over, honey. We're coming to the end of a fast. And I'm telling you, amen. Someone said, how can you be eating and having a good time? Don't you see the danger? Oh, yes, we know what the anchor holds. Oh, God, we have a reliable source. The anchor is Jesus. So the ship is anchored. My ship is anchored. The storm is raging, but I've got peace. My God, this is the year, glory to God, when those, hallelujah to God, who stay aboard in Jesus, in the midst of the turmoil, in the midst, of, glory to God, of the distress, hallelujah, and the destruction, and that which we are seeing now, and the worst that is yet to come. Yes, the worst that is yet to come. Because some of you think uh, this is the end of it. Jesus said, don't even get covered. Don't even become scared. This is the beginning and the commencement uh, of worse things to come. But in the midst uh, of the storm, there is an anchor. And the anchor is Jesus Christ. Uh, is there anybody here that is baptized in water in his name? You are filled with the Holy Ghost in his name. You pray in his name. You bless your food in his name. You drive in his name. You fly in his name. I know there are some of you who took the vaccine in his name. I know there are some of you, glory to God, who take your medication in his name. Come on, Hallelujah. some people are you that you do yes. nothing without Jesus. My God, you drink your water in his name. You drink your tea in his name. You go to bed in his name. You wake up in his name. I hope that you're married in his name. You stay married in his name. I hope that uh, whatever you're doing, uh, it is anchored in Jesus Christ. Uh, this yes. is to put on Christ. Uh, dress up in Jesus from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Uh, not just a part of the anchor. You got to put on the helmet. Uh, this is the here to dress your head in Jesus. Uh, it is the here to dress your mind in Jesus. Uh, to anchor your faith in Jesus. Uh, that's where the covering is. Uh, that's where the protection is. Uh, that's where the deliverance is. That's where the breakthrough is. That's where the healing is. That's where the miracle is. That's where the turnaround is. That's where the coming to is. That's where God is doing and working his secret. Who am I talking tonight? This is the year of the breastplate. When you put on the breastplate in Jesus' name, cover your heart in his righteousness. Dress up your heart in his righteousness. Man's righteousness, not taking you anywhere. Self-righteousness not taking us anywhere. You got to put on the whole armor. This is the year when you got to shield yourself from some things. Amen. That's coming against you. There are some fiery darts that the enemy is casting at you. But Jesus Christ, he's your shield. He's your buckler. He's your helmet. He's your salvation. Come on, somebody. I want to let you know that you got to dip up in his blood again. You got to go under the fountain again. This is the year. You got to have Jesus from head to toe. My God, some of you, you're going to have to choose what to wear this year. 
My God, because when you're going out, God is going to tell you if you wear that color, amen, you're going to be shown up. So sometimes he's going to say to you, you've got to go into, amen, uh, uh, what going to call it, secret. You're going to go up in secret for your enemy is laying wait, but God is going to give you double sight. 2020 vision in the name of Jesus. Shanda Basata. Everything is going to be multiplied by 20. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Somebody give God glory. Somebody give God praise. Everything is going to be multiplied. Hallelujah. It's the year of yes. double trouble, double peace, double joy. Don't God Almighty, I feel the Holy Ghost. Double prosperity. Who am I talking to? Oh God, I'm walking. Double favor, double anointing. My God. God is going to give you double. In the Go ahead, preach. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh God, we came in this year and thought I was going to be so dignified and we can just go easy this year and just read, amen, and just put up our, our, our projector and just teach and see the people. But when the year hit, the war started, mighty God. And as we can see, it is war in everywhere, war. Amen, over there in Ukraine, war. My God, America, war. In Russia, war. In Kingston, war. In Westmoreland war, in Carindon war, amen. In the 14 parishes war, in the countries war, in all over the world war, and in the church war. Glory to God. So I said, My God, uh 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 uh. When the first Sunday came, I said to the church, Take out back your war clothes. The war is not over yet, but we, de we, we determine who is coming out. Glory to God, victorious. We are winners because we know where our protection is. As the ship, glory to God, were about, amen, to flee, uh, as, as, as rather the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship. Oh, Shanda, when, 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 when they saw what was about to happen, my God, I heard, glory to God, somebody said, come on now, come on now, stay on board. Where are you running to? Where are you running from the presence of God? Where are you running for? A few minutes of fame, a few minutes of pleasure. Stay on board. Hey, Shanda, stay on the ship. Oh, yes, preach, preach, preach. Where are you going? What are you going for? Amen. Don't you see? Is another deception. Don't you see the devil trying to kill you? Glory to God, that relationship. Don't go there. Oh, Shanda Basata. Back, 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 back. Glory to God. And say, no, my God, if I come up, amen, the ship, I'm going to perish. Oh, Yasata, whatever you're about to do, all of those Sanda, if it's not done, glory to God. Amen, by the commander in chief. Amen, which is Jesus Christ. He's both your commander in chief. Glory to God. He is the one who is advising and instructing. Amen. Through the prophet. Glory to God. Do not come off your ship. Stay on it. Yes, it's rocking. Yes, it's ripped up. Yes, glory to God. It looks like it's not going to make it, but it shall be anchored. I see somebody here and there is a task and turn in your spirit and you are confused because you're trying to make a decision. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Based on your, amen, your natural perspective, your natural uh, glory to God, insight um, and foresight, but I'm here to let you know your natural perception is not sufficient, how they trained you to organize in college uh, and put A and B glory to God and figure things out, uh, my God, and look at the future, my God, that cannot help you, you need in the midst of the confusion, in the midst of the drama, in the midst of the trauma, God said, listen I'm speaking to you Yes, sir. You say, no, 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 it couldn't be God over there. Everything looked too confusing. Well, God said, I'm right here. And if you jump off the ship, uh, you're about to kill yourself. Uh, and your destiny is not yet accomplished. Uh, so don't you kill yourself. Uh, but there's a miracle that is waiting to hit you. Hatashama, you carry miracle. You carry deliverance. Uh, you carry breakthrough. Stay on board right in the confusion. I'm going to give you peace uh, in the midst of the storm. Receive it. In Mighty Jesus God. Receive yeah. it by the power of God. Receive yeah, it in Jesus' name. Yes. That's a word from the prophetess.
Ooh, Please. prophesy, prophesy. Go ahead, go ahead. Mighty God. Rest on board. Hey, Lord, oh, God. Hey, God said, I'm going to save you in the mess. I'm going to save you in the confusion. I'm Come on. I'm going to save you in the midst of the brokenness and the turmoil. God said, I'm going to save you right in this piece of Hornship, Rabbi. Don't divorce. Oh, Rabbi, Shah. Don't leave. Don't divorce. Go Rabba, ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Stay on board and wait for God. For God said, Your help is on the way. Yes, sir. Everything looks rough and you're hitting a curved corner and it looks like you can't see what's beyond the bend. And you thought, it's better for me, amen, to end it here than to make another God say, wait. I said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. I said, God is getting ready to strengthen your heart. He's going to bring you out all right. Somebody said, it's been a long time. It's been a long night. I've been yes. waiting for my daybreak. But I'm here to let you know your daybreak is almost here. Your daybreak. It's about to hit you. Your yes. daybreak is Ooh. about to come. You're just Preach. about to end. Amen. Hello, you're just about to end. Amen. This, tra this travailing. You're about to end this pain. I know. Glory to God. When you don't know what to do. When you don't know where to go. When you can't see where you're going. You can only hope. Hope thou in God. Come on, praise him while yes. you wait. Eat your food and praise him and sing your song. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. I know he will deliver me. Who am I talking to this morning? I see deliverance coming. Prophetess deliverance coming to God's people. We are no line prophets. Amen. Glory Confirmation. to God. Confirmation. Go ahead. Go ahead. When we speak the truth in Christ, you must receive it. I'm not here, glory to God, amen, to make a name. I'm here to, to lift up the name of Jesus. But I'm telling you, your trouble is almost over. I could not pass this. I wanted to go into something else, into a governmental, amen, ministry this morning. But I said, God, draw me down in that simple corner and show me, don't you see, Joseph, amen, that the troubles are on, amen, that the around us. Uh, everything is tossed into and fro. Amen. From head to foot, socially, economically, spiritually, good God almighty, emotionally. Most of you, your problem is in the emotion. My God, you can't stay a singer. You cannot stay by yourself. Um, you are in term. I said, wait, when is my time coming? But God said to tell you, the night is almost over. Ride out your storm. My God, ride out your storm. God is there with you. Glory to God, you may not feel him, but yes, you're yes, not yes. alone. You might be hurting now. I say your morning is coming. Hold on to Jesus. Anchor in Jesus. Stay on your breakup ship. Stay there until God fix you. God's going to save you right there. There is a purpose. Amen to the brokenness. If God didn't break it, they would land where they landed. If God did not allow it to be broken, Paul would not get to Miletus. He would not get to where God placed him. You wouldn't be able, Jesus. for glory to God, amen, to shake off the serpent. You would not be able to get away from the murderer, from the killer. There is a reason why your ship is broken. There is a reason why the storm is blowing. Hold on in the midst of your storm. Hold out just a little while longer. Your heavy burdens, they will soon pass over. Run your race. Keep the faith. Your change is coming. This is the year of change. This is the year of deliverance. This is the year of your breakthrough. Somebody better receive it because I'm experiencing it. God Almighty. Let me say this, praise God. I think my time is running so fast. Glory to God. I'm going to wrap it in. Let down the boat into the sea under the color as though, oh, Shanda, they would have, amen, cast their anchor out of the foreship. Laba Shataya. Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, except these abide. Except these dwell, live, stay right here. Except these abide. Amen. In the ship, yes. you cannot be saved. One, we said the reason why you anchor in Jesus. 
because he is reliable. Amen. No wind can break him. No water can wash him. As a matter of fact, he walk on water. As a matter of fact, he is the living water. Praise God. This is why you stay on board. Because nothing can harm him. And when you're covered in him, when you put on your salvation gospel shoes and have on your salvation helmet, amen, and all the armament that comes in between, amen, you are covered with God, the whole armor of God, amen, then you just need to just rest in his arm. The next reason why you need to stay on board, he is the life giver, Marco Sataya. He's not just reliable, amen, but he gives life. If you're dead, he raised you back. Can I talk to somebody? I said, if you die, he will raise you. The resurrector is on board. My God, he said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Amen. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Praise God. He that liveth and believeth on me shall never die. I don't know who you are this morning, but that's why you stay in the ship and anchor because he's reliable but because he's the life-giving stream. Amen. You cannot sustain life. You cannot maintain life. You cannot obtain life. Only Jesus can do it. Lord, do it for me right now. Somebody at the point of dying, I'm here to let you know that the life-giver is here this morning. He's standing right there. I heard Sister Mary and Sister Martha said, yes, Lord, we know. Amen. That on the last day, you shall raise our brother up. Jesus said, no, this is the last day. He said, no, this is the day of resurrection. I am the resurrection. I am the life. Where you're jumping from life, if you leave Jesus, you're going to die. I'm telling you. I said, if you leave and jump off Jesus, you're not anchoring Jesus. You shall die. I'm telling you. Amen. The only way for you to be saved and to, be, to live and to survive and go through what you're going through. Is under Jesus. There's nobody else to help you. No one else to deliver you. Don't listen to that lie. It's a lie that the devil telling you. Amen. That man has somewhere to put you. That woman is going to dig you out. If God don't send them, you're going to die. I'm telling you, stay on board. Sander. Next thing, why you need to anchor in Jesus. He's not just glory to God. Amen. Reliable. He's not just the one you can count on and stay able. Amen. And the life-giving stream. Somebody said, and what next? Uh, glory to God. He has a, a destiny. He has a future for you. God said, I know what I'm thinking towards you. It is glory to God, a thought of peace. Uh, peace in your stone. Peace in the midst of what you're going through. Amen. I am planning to prosper you. When you get through this, if you wait on me, if you take the battery, huh? If you wait there in this ship, if you hang on in this deep water, if you go through and stretch your faith, look beyond the night, look beyond the storm, look beyond the rocking ship. God said to tell you that I got something for you. You got a relationship with me. I watched you over the years. In spite of everything, you held on. You never let go. You stayed there. You trusted me. You depend on me to give you life. Well, God said, I have abundance for you. I feel the Holy Ghost and I'm through. Amen. The third thing he has, he said, I'm giving you life and abundance. Who am I talking to? Glory to God. The devil is a thief and a robber. And under Shete Baba Sander. And he's trying to kill you. But Jesus is no thief. He's reliable. You can count on him. He's trustworthy. My God, he's not going to kill you. He's your life-giving stream. Said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And he said, I have abundance. And that's why I tell you, know that Jesus kept you after you trust him. Huh? Know that you believe in Jesus and he kept you in the right mind. Huh? In the midst of the confusion. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Huh? He kept you. My God, he preserved your life huh? With all the hell that you've been through. With everything that came to kill you. He held you together. You had some testimonies that said I almost lost it. Uh, I almost lost my mind. Uh, I almost died in the accident. Uh, I almost. Uh, I almost. Uh, 
I almost had a almost, break. Yes. But yes, Jesus yes, said, yes, I yes. was there with you all the way. And I was uh, giving you life. Uh, when the devil tried to take your life away. When he came for my life. Um, glory to God. Uh, 1995. Uh, he came to snatch it and took it. Uh, he thought it was that what God wanted. Uh, but God, he put it back in my body again. So I can tell you. Be not afraid of your storm. Amen. Jesus is on board. He's with you. There's a prayer warrior on board. There's a prophetess on board. There's a woman of God on board. There's someone we hearing from God. Yes. When yes, they yes. say this you, receive the word of God. There's a man of God on board. Come on now. You got to take instruction. You got to follow instruction. And you shall live. The devil come to destroy you. But Jesus said, I come to give you life. And so in my third point closing, he said abundance. I'm not here to preach prosperity ministry. Abundance does not always refer to money. Amen. And many houses on the block does not always refer to glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Multitude. My God almighty. But it also speaks of substance. Glory to God. God, whatever it gives you is going to be so substantial that it can't run out. There's an abundance to your spirit. Abundance to your joy. Abundance to your peace. Abundance to every blessing that God is sending on you. Your neighbor might say, but I have so much and you have so little. I don't get it why you are so preserved and so joyful. I don't get it why you are so enduring. That is because of the God of abundance. He said that you waited on me. You trusted in me. And there is no limit to what I'm going to do for you. This year is the year when I'm going to double it up. Said I gave you last year and the year before and the year before and 20 years ago. And you handle it well. And Jesus is saying, based on how you handle yourself, you humble yourself. You stay on board. You never look to the right nor to the left. He said, this year, I'm going to trust you in much. Somebody stretch out your hand right now and get ready for the abundance. For there's a rain. Amen. A blessing about to drop into your hand. God said, you know what to do with it. I can trust you with what I'm about to pour out. Because many are coming to your hand. As God has sent many into the prophetess hand. Glory to God. And their hands are reaching out. And what God has deposited in the prophetess is in abundance. And it's reaching to every country. It's reaching far and wide to nations. God said, yes, some of you that is in connection with this abundant ministry. I'm about to give you, amen, an abundance. Uh, glory to God to give uh, to those who are in need. Uh, on this shape, uh, selfishness don't work. Uh, on this shape, uh, everybody got to come together. On this shape, uh, everybody got to be in fellowship. All the fellows uh, got to stay in the same shape. Uh, for this shape uh, that you are sailing on, Jesus is on board. He is your anchor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're at the right place uh, at the right time. And God is about, uh, amen, to do some other things uh, that you are going to hear from the prophetess. Uh, as I leave you this morning, I want you to know that your anchor is in Jesus because he's safe, uh, because he's reliable, because he's trustworthy, because he's your life giver, because he's, he, he's your resurrector. And there are some dead things around you that's getting ready to rise again. I said, God going to raise up that dead stuff uh, that's in your house, uh, that dead thing uh, that is on your job, in your career. Yes, you're going to love again. You're going to have joy again. You're going to be happy again. You're going to have peace again. You're going to have restoration. Yes, yes, yes. There's going, the night is almost over. Peace coming in your morning. Messiah. Yes, 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 yes. Going to be beautiful again. They're coming back. God is going to restore that the canker worm and the caterpillar in your season has eaten. Bring it back. Take it back. Carry it back. Teeth bring it back. Lying spirit, wicked spirit, demon of spiritual assassination. You're exposed this morning. Restore what God has given to the prophet, to
to his people in the name of Jesus. And don't forget, you're walking with expectation that the night is about to turn into day. And when this night is over, when the night is over, you are going to see where you're going. Your eyes will be open. The storm will be over. Everyone will be safe. You are going to be landing in a new, on a new shore, a place you have never been before. God is about to reacquaint you with some stuff that he showed you in your spirit when you just started. God is about to show you things that you have never seen before. Get ready for this new journey. Get ready for this new leg of the race. Get ready, get ready, get ready. There's a reason to the storm. There's a reason to the shift in battle. There's a reason to it. It's not a throw off. Oh, Yashanda. God is about to launch you into a new ministry. In the name of Jesus, we release this morning that as we move into this new dimension, into this new arena, into this fresh dimension in God, what God is about to do is a miracle. Yeah. He's going to do some miracles through you and for you that he has never done before. Those enemies uh, that thought they had you on that side. God said you're getting ready to shake them off. Yes, yes. Shake yes. them off. Yeah. Shake them off. Shake them off. And step into your, into your future. God bless you this morning. Over to you, prophetess. God keep you this morning. God preserve you this morning. God fill you up this morning. God load you up this morning. Come on, put on the wheelbarrow. Get your trail and line up. Shana Basata. For he's taking you to another level. God bless you, prophetess. Over to you. God bless you. My Emo Satire. God, my God, mighty word. I, I, I saw this, Mackenzie, and they've jumped into what a word. Eat your food, God. You're going to make it. Says, mighty God, what a word. Can we come on in the room this morning and go ahead and worship, worship, uh, worship. Come on, release your worship. Come on, come on in the room. Hallelujah. 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 Thank 